Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 6th episode of the series and we have Rishita here with us who has been recently placed at Accenture as a part of a campus placement at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us but before we talk to her let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all uh, BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in the pursuing degree with no standing careers. Now let's go ahead and talk to Rishita and understand her experience. Hi Rishita, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Hi Jishnu, nice to meet you. Yeah, so would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So hi guys, I am Rishita Ganguly and I am doing my BTEC currently. I am in fourth year from VIT Chennai and I am from the branch BTEC in CAC with specialization in AIML. I am from Kolkata, West Bengal and my hobbies lies in the field like uh, I like uh, dancing and uh, swimming a lot and like now I am getting a bit of technical uh, uh, like knowledges and all so I really find myself as an ML and DL enthusiast so I feel like that field of uh, like education can uh, help me uh, like outgrow my knowledge so okay. that's all about me okay that's really great um you cannot tell us about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what yeah. happened so for essential it's like you can if we break it out it is actually four rounds okay. but the, it happens in the stages of three it's like first uh, like first as usual it is the resume or the cgpa shortlisting so any for this year it was like uh, anyone above 6.5 cgpa hmm. with no uh, like present backlog hmm. can set for the placement process okay. so it was around 6000 people 6500 approx people who sat for the placement hmm. next round which was held in batches were like um, first comes the aptitude round where uh, like uh, it is cognitive plus technical there were hmm. 90 questions which you have to solve in 90 minutes so this time frame and the entire section were divided into four subsections like okay. one there was uh, like reasoning and aptitude based question there was pseudo code and the third there were english and like the fourth round was an overall mix like what will be the output of this mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. kind of the question okay so that stands out 90 questions 90 minutes mm -hmm. so there's a cutoff criteria over there like uh, if you get 50 up like 50 plus in hmm. that uh, particular section hmm. you will only then be redirected to the next round okay so it's like after you give the 90 minutes test there is a like five minutes waiting window where you are like you will be asked to wait as still the time the the analysis is going on hmm. then if you get an a criteria above 50 like 50 out of 90 you will be redirected to the coding round okay. which comes two coding question okay. you can do in any languages as of your preference hmm. and the time limit given for there is 45 questions okay so this time it happened this way he, there were five test cases you have to pass out of which two were visible visible okay. test cases okay. and the remaining three were the hidden test cases hmm. So the questions like can we, uh, it depends on your uh, like the dad deal luck or I, I think I'll be very specific about that hmm. because you can get an easy question like depending on a area string or but hmm. many of my friends got questions in uh, dynamic about dynamic programming, okay. hmm. backtracking, recursion, anything hmm. and uh, then like there was a section of questions where bit manipulation was totally in use like uh, hmm. like there was like a maximum or sub array question like the bitwise manipulation hmm. questions over there so okay uh, essential plays a very like uh, pays very important uh, like hmm, attention to bit manipulation stuff so hmm. if you're preparing for uh, like essential bit manipulation should be you should be clear with the idea hmm. so i like i got through into like the internship process for me that time i got one dp question dp medium question and one i got an easy array question so it was a time limit of 45 minutes but okay. i did the question both the questions within 20 minutes so okay. in essential it is not about only the factor that mm. you're doing the code correctly but they also look into the time by which you're completing okay so if you're done with both the questions uh, in uh, like less than 20 minutes or maximum 20 minutes you will be redirected to the next round okay 
so this comes with the end like two rounds will be done together at the same time hmm. so after the ones who like they get the mail at the, like mail or whatsapp message hmm. at that very moment that you have been congratulations you are going to the communication round hmm. so the communication round then gets held it depends like last time when i gave during the internship time it was a one hour but this time it was a 45 minutes okay. so i'm not sure that time but that my time it was one hour so that time you have to do the like there will be several sections like where every like there can be sections like someone is reading a comprehension in different dialects mm. and that sense you mm. have to understand and they'll be asking questions so you have to like uh, see like say it out like the mm. answer mm. or they read a question in different accents and you have to just uh, answer the question like uh, what the other person read and it will be just said once mm. so they just see how your english is whether mm. you'd be able to communicate with your client or not whether whatever they say whether you will be able to meet their requirement right. process or not hmm. mostly uh, that communication round which is the third round it is said to be not elimination round but it during the internship peak time it was also an elimination round because i still remember there were 450 people uh, who sat for this communication round after that for like after the communication round only 250 approx student for like promoted to the interview round okay so many a times it is many a like many places it is said that that it is not a elimination round but for us it was an elimination round okay so after you're done with the communication round then comes the final interview round which hmm. is a technical plus hr hmm. so in there they like uh, see my, it depends on like what from what background your interview is from hmm. and your interviewer is from sorry so that for my person was from the back end side so he added ask me question about dbms and all hmm. so i had to answer that apart from that they'd first ask you questions about your resume like why did you do this topic hmm. what attracted you what how you have done on all this so that will be the technical question they'll understand about it okay. they have some doubts this comes for the technical aspect after hmm. that followed by it comes the hr round like in the it will happen the same person will be doing both of them in the hr round they will be asking where could be like questions minimum questions like uh, did you work with a team mm. so if you did work with a team then what problems you faced how did you come out of it yeah or did you any lead any teams and all mm. and they essential i feel like for my time i have seen they have a thing that if you do any social project mm. they see it very nicely okay so any like any social help project if mm. you have done so it's like if it is there in your resume you are obviously a one step ahead okay okay so that is a very good thing uh, like they ask about and then they will be asking like normal hr question like why do you want to join the company then like uh, where do you see yourself in 5 years mm. proper like mm. hr question yeah. so this is the round and then finally the shortlisting came okay okay So, so that was the end right you got the yeah. list okay yeah okay. so i got the interview like internship that time two okay. months summer internship okay from there i got the uh, ppo results okay okay that's really great congrats again and thank you for sharing thank your you. experience so do you have any suggestions or anything that you learned from your experience that you would like to share Yeah, it's like a suggestion. I'll be like, uh, I feel this uh, placement type, placement period does not go according to our way. Yeah. Like the way we have it planned in our head. Okay, we I might not get into a super dream. Like slot one, sorry, not super dream. Slot yeah. one, we might not get. But we have a thing that the first ten super dream companies which will come, we will get into that. Hmm. So that breaks our heart day yeah. by day. <laughs> so yeah. like i just want to say ki like this is not the end of your road mm-hmm. if you are not getting into one particular company you will get into some other mm-hmm. like if you are not getting one full like internship you might get a full time like full time mm-hmm. job so be positive during the entire time yeah. i know there you like you see your roommates getting placed before you yeah. you are the only one in the room mm. who did not get placed mm-hmm. several situations will yeah. come yeah. so but like for the entire time the thing is like be positive and just have some faith in yourself mm-hmm. and keep doing what you are doing like if you are doing leaf code you are doing happy rank anything just be consistent mm. and keep studying like sometimes we do feel like i myself had this feeling ki i'm not getting into 
anywhere i'm not even getting shortlisted what mm-hmm. will i do and mm-hmm. all stuff so i legit for a 2 to 3 days gap i stopped studying mm-hmm. i will say do not to do that see because for me after that i sat for a paper and i was blank like mm-hmm. i didn't know so i myself ruined one of the opportunities which i got yeah but other people did make use of it who were consistent enough so you may not get in the very first month but the second month third month you'll get what you deserve so yeah. i feel to not break down like good things are waiting for you just keep practicing and stay true to yourself and the thing which you are doing right okay okay thank you so much uh, for for that uh, suggestions and for sharing your experience and congrats once again thank yeah, you thank you So that's how Accenture does its hiring. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please do stay tuned. A lot of interview experience videos coming uh, your way in the next few days. So do uh, subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching.